What's going on, everybody? I'm Corey. And I'm Anyan. And we want to welcome you back to another episode of Tea and Worship. Now, before we get into this great power pack show that we have today, we want to thank you, all of you, for watching us every week. Man, we could not do this thing without you. We appreciate it so much. We want you to continue watching and make sure you like this video. Make sure you hit that bell. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure that you comment. We want to hear your comments. We want to know where you're watching from. And also make sure you're sharing this with your friends, your family, your co-workers, everybody, so that they can get some of this good tea and worship. Now, mm -hmm. we're not giving you this just for no reason. We want y'all to share this with everybody right. that you know, okay? So we are so excited today. So excited. Um, actually, this person has been here before, but we couldn't have our second season without this person coming back. Uh, y'all want him back because yeah. we wanted him back. And actually, this great set, this, because, uh, ain't, ain't this set nice? Ain't this set nice? Beautiful. This set probably would not have happened if it had not been for this individual. Yeah. And also, you know him as a pastor, but we're not even talking to the pastor today. We're talking to the, the artist, artist, the bona fide artist, the billboard chart topping artist. Yeah. None other than E. Dewey, Dewey Smith. Smith. What's up? What's, What's up, going on? How y'all doing? We are yeah. great. Family, family. How Thank you, you so much for coming doing? back. Oh, God. Number two pencil. <laughs> <laughs> y'all look great. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank oh, you. thank you for coming thank back. Y'all upgraded this last hey, show. Look at that. Hey, now. We're doing big things. Now I see God's enlarging y'all's territory. He really but, is. Oh, my goodness. No, but we learned he's enlarging yours. Oh, yeah. Well, you, know, you are charting. Can you believe that? Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I believe it. I'm next to y'all. Absolutely. I can be, since I'm next to y'all, I can believe <laughs> How does it feel? Unbelievable. You know, something my mom always wanted me to do. Um, music, was my, music was my first love. My mm. dad put a guitar in my hand at three. I started playing piano at five. What? I, had a, I had my first church job playing drums at nine. <laughs> and, uh, and then I ended, ended up on bass guitar. So music, music was my first love. But when I started preaching at age 17, you know, people was like, man, come on, be a preacher. You can't do that. So... <laughs> So to be at this stage in my life is mind blowing. Really. Yeah. Awesome. It's such an incredible, incredible record. Can you share your team? Like who all played a part? Well, I mean, I'm thankful that, um, you know, it's been a vision a long time. And I was having a conversation with some of our people and um, last in October of 2020. And I was talking to John Webb, who's one of our musicians, mm -hmm. feels in for us mm -hmm. and plays for us and is a, is a producer. And we were having a conversation. He and our sound guy, Derek Stevenson, it was like, man, let's get in the studio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we, we went in studio. And the first time we were there, we came away with three songs. Wow. I'm like, this is really Incredible. cool. <laughs> and uh, so John, Darius Park mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. part of it. Um, Jules, Bartholomew, Black Elvis, um, um, uh, uh, Dennis Ross. Zeblon Ellis mm -hmm. uh, did our um, uh, BG arrangements, you know, around that time. We wanted you to be a part of it. You know, you were, you were, you were you know, ill at that time. But, you know, it's the first one. So we got yeah. plenty more. And uh, mm -hmm. so I'm just thankful. I really am. Awesome. I mean, if you don't already have his new album, God, period, I don't, I don't know what you're doing <laughs> if you're under a rock period. or yeah. living like under, I don't know what's, what's going on, but make sure you go get it. And considering, you know, the fact that the album has come out, now you are touring and like all you actually came here from somewhere else. Yeah. What's that like being, you know, the touring artist now? Now, here's the thing what's amazing, you know, that I didn't realize it until like my team and digital team were telling me about it. Like, OK, they went through YouTube. Mm -hmm. I never thought about it because I don't really watch a lot of that stuff and put up clips of singing clips from church from 2000 way back and compiled the views. We were doing a lot of old school stuff when I first moved to Atlanta and with church, so a lot of hymns. So a lot of people who like old school music would go to YouTube, like this is good stuff, a <laughs> hymn of the church. So I didn't know they were doing that. But long story short, they compiled almost 100 million views of just Jeez. with all the cumulative clips on YouTube. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's like 100 million Jeez. views of all of the clips. clips. They're like, so what made you think so people, even though you, you, you're new to music, mm -hmm. you're really not from a YouTube perspective because mm -hmm. people know the church is a musical church. Right. So that's the piece that just like, okay, I've been preaching everywhere mm -hmm. since I was 17. <laughs> but 
it's like, wow, this is music. So mm -hmm. it's almost like combining ministry with the artistry mm -hmm. piece. So I'm learning about that piece. But, but I've been traveling. Most of the time when I go somewhere to preach, I'm going to sing anywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, like me and Yon's dad, y'all, both y'all both travel pastors and sing with singing groups, and you're both professionals. So for me, it's like, okay, so if I go preach somewhere now, instead of singing somebody else's song, mm -hmm. let me throw one of mine in there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so it's just kind of like I'm just getting comfortable in that aspect. Mm -hmm. But when you think about it, we've been doing music a long time, mm -hmm. just not Absolutely. from the way you guys have done it professionally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we know if we ask you about being a pastor preaching, like you can tell us about that with your eyes closed, <laughs> sleep. You know, you mentioned that you're still learning but what have you learned so far? Like, we know you're still learning, but as from, with the artistry, what have you learned about being an artist so far? I think the key to it is being yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, I realize that knowing who I am vocally, knowing the audience who God has called me to be, and I know that's people, there are people who like what I do. So me, me doing what I do and trying to find something that works for me. I mean, you got so many incredible male vocals out there, and you know, and most of them don't. Most of them sing so high, the songs are so <laughs> way off the charts. So to sing something that's mid-range that most people can sing is different. So it's mm -hmm. like just be comfortable in yourself, mm -hmm. you know. N never have to never have to sing like Zaccardi Cortez, but who can? <laughs> but right. find your good song and and be authentic with it, and, and hope it'll bless somebody. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm trying to do: just mm -hmm. be your authentic self and. Mm -hmm. And do the best you can. Mm -hmm. So I think that's one thing that I'm learning, and uh, and just know what songs fit you, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. and 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 really exegete the crowd. Like, who is this crowd? Which I do with preaching anyway. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, this is a younger crowd, or this crowd, trying to feel out like what the crowd, um, what kind of music, or what's what song would fit that particular context. Mm -hmm. So I'm learning that piece. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. You could be downloading the new album, God, period. Right it's a shameless plug, but I ain't ashamed <laughs> to plug it. Um, so <laughs> we were uh, actually talking in the back about, you know, being at the listening party, which we talked about before in our recap show, how much we enjoyed even hearing that. Like, it was just mind blowing. Um, and I was saying that my favorite song was Anyway. I love <laughs> that song. Got the victory. <laughs> <laughs> it's something about the yes, groove. Yeah. It? Got yeah. the yeah, victory. It is a groove. I mean, yeah. it just make you want to just It feels good. If you down, like, oh, it's, yeah. it's going to put a smile on your face. That's true. You wrote that, right? Yeah, that's, that's the strange thing. I, I, here's the thing that happened with Victory. I had to do an event. They had an event at the Stellar's. And this was an event they were having during Stellar's Week, an outdoor event. And I went. <laughs> And they want me to sing the single. Mm -hmm. And you probably had 20, 30 artists there. And so my single is Your Presence is a Gift. Mm -hmm. So, like, sing the single. Well, we're outdoors. People are eating. And I was singing. It's like, this is an amazing song that I love. But it just didn't fit for me, that outdoor event. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I got back. I said, you know, I called John. I said, I need something that if we're at a park mm -hmm. or, we'd, you know, something that we can groove to. And I had mm -hmm. another song. And so I said, I think I, I'm a, let, me, let me sit with it. And so I sat with it a couple of days and uh, wrote it and wrote it one day. We recorded it the next day. And, mm -hmm. you know, That's and Zip, and Zip came and put some, some of the bills and whistles oh, on yeah. it. But I wrote the whole song. I yeah. love it. That is yeah, I love it. And that victory got that, that James Brown funk on yeah. it. You well, know, well, you know, when you... I play bass, I, play, I like funk. <laughs> okay. So, so I want to put some funk in there. So that, <laughs> that makes but sense. But anyway, is a song that really is just. You know, so t testimonial. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's, it's one of my favorite. It. Yeah, it's 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 one of my favorite too. It's oh, a great yeah. Song. yeah, definitely. So, you know, now that you are like really a true artist and you're touring and like we said, you know, your art, your your album is t topping the charts. Where do you want this to go? Do you is this you know something that you was this one album or did, where do you want to go with well, your music it's career? Interesting, you said that. Really, what I want to do, the most important thing for me, was the label. Okay. And I was saying to myself, one of the reasons why I didn't do music, because my mentors trying to help me were like, do preach. <laughs> because here's the issue, most of the pastors who are artists, most of them, they might not want to tell you, say this publicly, but I'm going to spill the beans. <laughs> they, they struggle because people, a lot of people will prefer to hear them minister through song uh, mm. than through the word. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, Pastor Clay Evans, he would get, I mean, if you called him a singing preacher, mm -hmm. he, I mean, he would almost come unglued because really? he felt it was disrespectful. Wow. 
singing preacher. Mm -hmm. He felt you should call him a preacher who can sing. Mm -hmm. Bishop Marvin Winans has the same problem. Mm -hmm. Bishop Marvin Sapp has the same issue. Charles Jenkins has the same issue. Uh, Pastor Shirley Caesar has the same mm -hmm. issue. Um, uh, uh, Pastor Bishop Jason Nelson, I can go on and on and on and on and mm -hmm. on about these great singers who happen to be preachers mm -hmm. who sometimes their preaching ministry doesn't get the same level of appreciation so true. as a music ministry. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why the mentors were like, man, stick with preaching, be respected as that. Mm -hmm. But I just, you know, so those labels, you know, and boxes, I said, you know what, man, boxes are for, for things and not people. So mm -hmm. God, if you gave me this gift, let me just try. Oh yeah, Because mm -hmm. I've, I've been writing music all my life, but I just stopped because mm -hmm. I'm like, be respected as a preacher because mm -hmm. it's just mm -hmm. many of them struggle it's like i want to be a preacher but people don't people don't invite me to preach they won't invite me to sing <laughs> you know what i mean so yeah. they struggle with that I'm, mm -hmm. they may not say it but they struggle with it because they want to be respected equally in both mm -hmm. and so some just i'm not going to do it mm -hmm. oh well we hate to do this but we got to stop for a minute and go to a break but we will be back with more tea and worship with minyan and corey and none other than e dewey smith stay stay right here on the hope tv What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jermaine Dolly, Mr. Hello Dolly himself. And guess what? You're tuned in to Tea and Worship with my homies, me and Corey. Keep it like, y'all. Hey, y'all, it's Candy West, and you're watching Tea and Worship with Mignon and Corey. It's your boy James Fortune, and you are watching my favorite new show, Tea and Worship, with my sis Mignon and Corey. Welcome back to Tea and Worship with Mignon and Corey. We are still here with E. Dewey Smith, and we were just having a great conversation. And uh, would you please just uh, touch some more on, you know, where you want your music career to go? You know, it's, it's amazing that what I want to do is, since I felt like I was, my gifts were repressed, mm. you know, the advice was, don't do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I want to be the preacher who says to others, do it. Yeah. Okay. So that's so for me. I'm I'm gonna do more music myself, mm -hmm. but it's really more about the label. Mm -hmm. I want to you know produce music. So um, we signed an artist out of out of Memphis, Tennessee, um, Courtney Franklin. His mm -hmm. album's oh, gonna yeah. drop mm -hmm. in uh, first part of next year, and we also signed another artist uh, today. As a matter of fact, uh, nice. his, his name is uh, Pastor Michael Lampkin. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. 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 He, oh yeah. He was on, he was on uh, yeah. Sunday Best season. Oh yeah. I don't, out of St. Louis, amazing, mm -hmm. amazing, 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 amazing singer. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Dana Soray produced his project. Oh, it goodness. is amazing. Oh, yeah. Uh, he, I mean, just Michael is an amazing, mm -hmm. amazing singer. Mm -hmm. So his project's going to drop next year as well. I'm also also working on uh, getting, getting music for our choir record. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do our, our first record, House of Hope. Yeah. House of Hope time. Music. <laughs> right. House of Atlanta. Awesome. So we, we, we're getting some music for that now. And of course, Mignon is going to be a part of that process and you, of, of, of course. So we got four or five songs that I've already got awesome. submitted, I think, going to be on record. Nice. And I'm going to do another, I'm going to do another album next year, but it's going to be all him project. Okay. Ooh. So what my, my long-term goal is to move more to the executive piece. Mm -hmm. I want to give a, I want to give a place where people um, who are gifted, that we could put resources behind them. Nice. And because a lot of times the labels don't treat people right. Mm. And I just think that 
sometimes they don't know how to use a church mm -hmm. and incorporate the church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what I'm seeing now is church people were, if you respect the church, because that's what's happened with my record, it's pastors and church people that are like, man, we, we can support you. Mm -hmm. Because when you're trying to do music downloads and iTunes <laughs> and title, you know, just it's just hurt the industry so bad. Oh, yeah. So if we can help people produce their music, studio, mm -hmm, top, mm -hmm. top quality, and put our resources behind people, mm -hmm. it makes it easy for them to go ahead and produce their stuff. We mm -hmm. got a place we can do a, it's a one-stop shop. We can, oh, yeah. we yeah. can video them. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We, we, can, we can leverage our relationships with them, mm -hmm. with the church, my relationship, so they have somewhere to sing. Oh, yeah. So I want to be a place where we can do all kind of music. So it's really yeah. more about the label than yeah. necessarily my own artistry. But all, yeah. Although I'm going to still write and sing my own songs, mm -hmm. but it's about building an organization mm -hmm. that we can put people mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I want to do. If Hill Song can do it, Elevation Worship Absolutely. can do it, why not us? Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. So true. Absolutely. At the listening party, you know, they played a song with the amazing Lisa Page Brooks <laughs> on there. Are there any more people that you dream of collabing with? I mean, I, it's so many, you know. Um, my, my ultimate dream for as a male vocalist is, of course, going to be Bishop Marvin Winers. Mm. You know, Bishop Marvin Winers. You know, mm -hmm. I, just, I, I love, I love... I ain't gonna take. I, I can't I, take that. Yeah, I just, I love, <laughs> you I just, and Marvin. I, I, right. I, I, love, I love Bishop Bishop Martin Wine, so I want to pay homage to to to, the old, to, to him. Mm -hmm. You know, you know who he has been musically in ministry, and also Bishop Morton. So that's one thing. Bishop to have Bishop Martin Wine as a part of it. Mm -hmm. But it's so many other people. I mean, mm -hmm. man, young, you are incredible. Uh, Leandre Johnson, mm -hmm. we've oh talked God. about. We, we, we almost did something on this one, just we, we ran out of time. Mm -hmm. uh, Dorinda Clark Cole, oh my goodness. Uh, who Absolutely. I love. So that, that would be my, you know, immediate. Can't list. go wrong with none of those. Yeah, but I got so many. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, I, just, I, just, I, just, I just love the industry and love people who've been doing it a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But those are some of my favorite, those are some of the immediate goals I like to yeah, yeah, yeah. make happen. Yeah. 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 So we know Christmas is around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> what are we going to get? From you for Christmas. Well, you know, I, I, I was having a conversation with somebody from Radio 1 DC, and they were talking about, um, this has been three weeks ago, the lack of new music mm -hmm. for Christmas. When you think about Christmas albums, when we still singing, Jesus is the reason not is. for the season. <laughs> so not a lot of, I mean, think about it. We still, every Christmas, we're going to hear The Temptation. Yep. You hear Mariah Carey. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're going to hear Donna Hathaway this Christmas. So mm -hmm. it's still more the classics. Mm -hmm. Yes. But when you talk about a lot of new Christmas music that we sing for productions, not a lot. So I had a conversation with them on a Wednesday. Uh, this was back in October. Mm -hmm. And they were like, you know, we just, you know, we have a whole separate chart for Christmas music, but <laughs> not a lot of new stuff. So I flew back. I was in D.C. or New York, I believe, and I flew back. And on a plane, I just start writing some words. Mm -hmm. And I got back, and that Thursday, that Friday, I called my producer and said, man, I got a song. And we recorded it. So I wrote a song called Christmas is About God's Son. Mm -hmm. So it's going to, I think it's, it's, it feels good. It's a message of Christmas, but I think it's something that, dan you know, liturgical dance group can dance to. And I think it's going to be a part of, so I think it's going to be a classic song. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. I can't wait to hear it. Yeah. Well, I can't wait either. Y'all yeah. <laughs> got to sing it for me. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> now I want to share something that a lot of people might not know that uh, about you that you are, you know, the, this powerhouse singer. Of course, we know and preacher, but a lot of people don't know that you kind of introverted. Like you, you a little shy, a little shy. I, I, I shared a story <laughs> uh, <believe> with me <laughs> young when we were gearing up, and I said. When I worked for SunTrust Bank, you know, Pastor Smith would come and he would always be on that phone. Yeah. And I'd be like, would you pay attention so I can help you with right, your right. transaction? But I know that, that, you know, part of it is that, you know, we see what we see on a stage. But, you know, behind closed doors, you're just very, just cool, very cool, calm, collected person. But where does that, that fire, that power come from when you're singing or preaching? That's like, where great, does that come a, from? That's a great question. I mean, I just, I, I, you know, I don't know. I'm, 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 I, I'm peaceful. I'm, I am quiet. Mm -hmm. The state, when, it's the, when the lights come on, it's like, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what it is. <laughs> you know, I, but, but I struggle until I get to the lights come on. I mean, even today, even doing this interview, there's a struggle. You know, it's like, oh, good. You know, the, the, I'm very nervous. Mm -hmm. But then when I get here, it's like, okay, something, something comes. I mean, and I don't know. My, my family's all the time, you know, 
if I'm around people I love and I'm comfortable with, mm-hmm. I, I can be the jokester and that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. But other than that, I don't really say a whole lot. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know what it, my dad's like, I guess. Mm-hmm. You know, so I don't know. It was just hereditary. He got it honest. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard to believe that. You know, yeah. like working with you and being with you in ministry, it's just hard to believe and accept that you quiet. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean when, I, when, I'm, when, I'm, when I'm with the staff and the team, you guys, it's like I want to encourage everybody yeah. and, and lift the spirit and make it the atmosphere fun. So it's it's work, but it's like I feel like I got I got to pour into the team to mm-hmm. to affirm and love them. I love them, and you know, and appreciate everything. And so you know, if somebody don't appreciate it, it won't be like oh, he, you know. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. equal. So those moments when this wasn't good, it's not anything that's intimidating because right. you know, you know, he's gonna give he's gonna affirm us. And if it's not good, we don't fall out. It's just not right, good. Right, so I try right. to work hard right. so that. When there is an issue, because I think sometimes even parents do that. Mm-hmm. When something's wrong, they tell you that. <laughs> yeah. But they never tell you the good part. Yeah. So I think that's why I try to, you know, I try to share that the love to make it the you know, atmosphere fun, so it mm-hmm. won't be like a tyrant or people mm-hmm. so timid to be you know, make a mistake. You yeah. know. So I think that's you know, and, and when people, when I know people have my vision and mm-hmm. love and support me, it makes me wanna. Oh yeah. Yeah. to give and support yeah. them. So I yeah, think yeah. it's easy to do in that regard. Yeah, yeah. Understandable. Yeah. I, I think, I feel like Mignon is somewhat similar to that because she's, you know, a little subdued, but when she get on that, <laughs> when she get that mic in that's, that's a good point. <laughs> it's like, what? Who was that? Yeah. You know? <laughs> um, just to switch gears a little bit, um, one thing that I love about you as just a person is that you're so socially conscious and you are yes. not ashamed that's about facts. just sharing your feelings about, you know, certain things that are going on um, socially. And, you know, right now we know a lot of us have been uh, glued to what's going on with the Ahmaud Arbery case. And recently uh, the defense attorneys uh, made, you know, this crazy comment about uh, having black pastors showing up in the courtroom. So I just want to know your brief opinion on, you know, the case and some of the things that have been going on with that. I'm glad you said that. You know, I I try to um, be aware of what's happening. You know, Carl Bart, who was a theologian I studied, talking about preaching with, with the Bible in one hand and a newspaper in the other. Mm. And anybody who's heard me preach or teach, they know I try to sometimes merge what's happening in society mm-hmm. to give a scriptural take on it. And so with that being said, you know, I'm also a person who's for the underdog. Mm-hmm. And, I'm, and I, hate, I hate when Christianity is judgmental and, and condemning. Mm. And so a lot of things I stand up for are when we just come at people you know, as if we are just greater and better and sinless and legalistic. So a lot yeah. of things I stand against when I see somebody being mistreated, mm-hmm. I, I, I tend to gravitate to those things because mm-hmm. I know how it feels. Oh, yeah. And so relative to that case, I mean, I think it's showing us the strength of racism, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but I also think it shows the strength of the African-American church that we're so relevant that they don't want us there. Mm-hmm. And I just think Crazy. that sometimes we worship so much and pray so much and have a good time, but we got to start getting back involved in social issues. Mm-hmm. And I think that's important Absolutely. because a lot of young people, they want to hear our voice. Absolutely. They want to hear our voices. And so Absolutely. I think you got to speak to what's happening uh, in contemporary time. Definitely. Well, y'all, we're going to be right back with you. We're going to take a break to this commercial, and we're going to be back with our very own friend, artist, E. Dewey Smith. This is the story of a boy who was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help. And slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. Type 2 diabetes can have a big impact on your life, but how can it be prevented? Well, the first step is knowing if you have prediabetes, a serious medical condition that puts you at high risk for type 2 diabetes. One in three American adults has prediabetes, but more than 80% don't know they have it. The good news is prediabetes can be reversed, and for many people, healthy changes in their daily routine can make a big difference. Take the one-minute risk test today at doihaveprediabetes.org.
Welcome back, family. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with us tonight. Look, it's Mian and Corey, and we have a very special guest with us, E. Dewey Smith, and we're just excited. I want to chime, I want to, I want to, I want to talk about something that you said before when you were mentioned that you are aware of what's going on in the world. As someone that works with you, not only are you aware of what's going on in the world, but y'all look, he's aware <laughs> of what goes on with us. Oh, yeah. Like, we're not just here a part of the ministry, but he's concerned about us as a whole. Mm -hmm. And there was a conversation that I had with him, and it was a hard conversation. I didn't understand it. And honestly, I didn't understand it until lately. Recently, I had a conversation with someone. I had an incident with someone, and the conversation that you and I had about loyalty mm -hmm. hit me. And I wept <laughs> and wept and wept because wow. I then understood what you said when you mentioned loyalty is everything. Wow. It hit me in that moment. And I just want to say thank you for being honest and for being real, even when it hurts. Wow. Because in the long run, it just makes us better. And you know, you know I'm about to cry. I be getting <laughs> wow. emotional. But wow. I get emotional about, about people that God strategically mm -hmm. place in your life, you know, and... I've always asked God, being away from my father, bring me a father. Wow. And that's what you have been to me. And you have seen greatness in me. And I'm just so grateful and just so thankful that you love me enough to even be hard. Because we need it. Yeah. Wow. You know, and then you turn around and you love me. <laughs> you know, and I'm just so thankful for that. So, y'all, he's aware of every to the point to where... I mean, he knows, he knows everything, and I don't understand what goes on in your brain. The history book. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's, it's funny, Mignon, you know, I mean, you've been here around 10 years, and the first time we met, I didn't know who your dad was. I, was, I loved your dad since I was a kid. As a matter of fact, your dad came to Macon years ago when I was a pastor in Macon to have another preacher, preacher for me. He drove down from Atlanta to just be, I didn't know he was in the church. This is in the <laughs> early 90s. So I've always loved you, and you've done stuff when we need some studio stuff. I did a jingle one time for the, ready, for the broadcast. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah. You, I think you did the help with the jingle. You did, mm -hmm. you did the, the vocals for me. And when, and when you came back to do worship um, in, in, a more, in a more consistent way, I saw who you were, you know, and just the, the gift has always been there. It's like, okay, now she's gonna, the, the, I don't know about the leadership, you know, in terms of the organization mm -hmm. and leading people. But I knew the spirit was it was there in you, and and what I you know for me I think some people they go for who who is who's the biggest name mm -hmm. or who got mm, it's the people who are with you mm -hmm. and that you and you are unique in that I can I think you're learning me mm -hmm. that you know I won't have your back whatever whatever if I don't true. like somebody I can tell you and you don't get flustered mm -hmm. you know what I mean it's like. You know, you're not, man, you know, that way, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, <laughs> you're going to tell me the truth. Mm -hmm. So the loyalty and being honest, mm -hmm. and I think you can't ask for more. Yeah. Right. If you got loyalty and you got honesty, you can work through any situation. Mm -hmm. so true. Because you got my heart, and you got the heart for the ministry. You love the people, and, and, you, and, you, and you love me. You know I love you and got your back. And, and so it just works like that yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. when you have loyalty and honesty. And, we, and if there's something not right, we're going to sit down mm -hmm. and figure out until it gets right, you know, that's right. and get through it. That's how, that's how I feel it should yeah. be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. <laughs> so now I know y'all been waiting for this because we are so ready for this. Uh, if you haven't been watching TN Worship, we have a new game that we've been playing this season, and it's called what, Mignon? Church, Church that, that hook. hook. So. <laughs> E. Dewey Smith, yes, sir. Yes. we want you to church that hook. So church that hook is basically a game where we take a song that's not a gospel song or a church song, and we want you to church it up, whether that's worship or a quartet. We know you know that quartet. <laughs> CCM it up, worship, however you want to do it, but we want you to church that hook. So we're going to start off with, let's see, well, I think we'll start off with Turn Off the Lights by Teddy Pendergrass. Yeah. We want you to church that, that hook. Uh, uh, 
I, I want to sing Turn Off the Lights, uh, <laughs> hymn number 111. Yeah. <laughs> Turn <laughs> off the lights. Yeah. Oh, light. <laughs> I can do yeah. now. Right. Yes. Turn off the light yes. and light a candle. Yes. They don't, they don't that's do no, karma meter. Exactly. That's they don't oh, do that. Awesome. So y'all had no guests do it like that. We I know. Have not. <laughs> uh, we I'm have sure. Not. That's that devotion. <laughs> y'all don't do. They don't do devotion no more. <laughs> that's that real. That's <laughs> real here. Right. Oh my God. <laughs> e, Dewey, Nick, you ain't gonna get it like this. No other place. Nowhere else. Every Friday night here on the Hope TV. Tea and worship, y'all. Look, y'all have been hanging out with us, and we are so grateful for Thank all you. of you. Don't forget to like, share, hit that bell. Sh tell everybody. Tell everybody about us. Look, you're going to get the best of the best here. We're so grateful and so thankful for our very own E. Dewey Smith so, for hanging out with us tonight. So look, did y'all enjoy that? Look, church, that hook is off the chain. <laughs> Do you is, hear me? It is. it is off the chain, and it's only going to get better and better and better. But look, before we go, we want him to share a few words of encouragement, and then we're going to shoot it over to that performance by our very own E. Dewey Smith. Encouragement. Hey, family, if you're watching, I would just want you to know if you love music, if you have a book you want to write, if it's going back to school, uh, let my life and let what I'm trying to learn and do now be an example to you that you're never too old, <laughs> um, that it doesn't matter which side of the track you're from or the highs or the lows, the goods and the, the good or the bad. Uh, if God has a purpose for you, God had a purpose for you before you had a past. Uh, God had a purpose before you before others had an opinion. So live by faith. If there's a book, write it. If there's a, if there's a degree, pursue it. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, and if there's a business, start it. And the God who starts always finishes before he starts. Mm -hmm. And so he, had, he that had begun a good work in you, he's able to perform it and complete it. So you be encouraged. Yeah. Do what God has called you to do. Yeah. Look, thank y'all again. Our goal here is to make you laugh, but ultimately we want you to leave feeling encouraged. Oh, yeah. So we'll see y'all next week. Let's go to that performance. Yeah, Bye, have a good night. If he took away the rain, how would we ever grow? With his love, he corrects us, so his will we could know. If he took away the pain, I doubt we'd ever change. We'd never know. The power in Jesus' name If he took away our thorns Would we ever pray? With his blood he forgives us So in sin we won't stay If he took away all shame We'd probably stay the same We'd never know The power in Jesus' name So I give you Jesus He's the one who's always there I give you Jesus He's the one who really cares? I give you Jesus. Oh, have mercy. And that's the best that I can do. I give you Jesus. Jesus. 
Begotten Son, I give you Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And that's the best that I can do. I, I, I give you Jesus. Yes, I do. Nobody like you. Like my Jesus. You can always call on my Jesus. And can't nobody do this. I give him Jesus. He'll be your friend. Cause see, he's been man. I give you Jesus. Oh. And that's the best that I can do. Listen, cause he's a he's a healer, sustainer, provider. He'll be your protector. I give you Jesus. With your pillow and wet with tears, I give you Jesus. I guarantee He'll be with you throughout each and every year. I want to give you Jesus. My, my, my. And that's the best. This hope of the brother. I give it Jesus. I recommend Jesus. Him. I know him. He's a keeper. I want to offer you Jesus. I give you Jesus. As you're watching right now. Well, you might not be popular, but my favorite character is Celestial. Because. <laughs> So one of the one of the quotes that I wrote down in the book that kind of stood out to me was, "Love is the enemy of sound judgment." She seemed like a very needy woman, and I can't even respect Andre because how do you pray on your friend's wife while he's incarcerated? Like you know, I just can't get with that. And maybe I got too invested in the book, you know. That <laughs> <laughs>